Greetings in the name of Jesus once more. Today, it's a beautiful day of the Lord. I want you to be glad and to be happy that God is still in control and that you are alive today. There's enough for us to always be grateful. I know at this time, many people are just worried a lot about what is happening. Who is responsible? And there's been many accusations and many things that people have said. But you see, for whatever evil the devil does, whether it's over the world, over the nations, or whether it's in your life as a person, and you don't understand what is happening and why it's happening, I want you to know that the enemy always gets exposed. Whatever is hidden behind your back, behind our backs, will finally come out. We will know the truth. The devil always gets exposed because the Bible says God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. And the Bible says in Proverbs 4.18, the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter and brighter until the perfect day. That is your path. You know, you as a believer, it shines brighter and brighter and brighter. And things will become clearer and clearer, not darker and darker and darker. No. But it says, you know, the second verse says, but the path of the unjust, the evil one, they don't know what makes them stumble. They walk in darkness and they don't know what makes them stumble. You and I, it is God's will for us to know what is happening, everything will come to the open. Look at, at what the Bible says of Lucifer. The Bible says, Oh Lucifer, that is in Isaiah 12, verse 12. Oh Lucifer, son of morning, how you are cut down to the ground. How you are cut down to the ground. You who weakened the nations. You who weakened the nations. And verse 16 says, those who see you will gaze. It's talking about Lucifer, the devil. Those who see you will gaze at you and consider you saying, is this the man who made the earth tremble? I mean, right now it, it looks like, you know, the devil is at the top and the Earth is trembling. People are afraid. Is this the man who made the nations tremble? Who shook kingdoms? Verse 17. Who made the world as a wilderness and destroyed its cities? You who did not open the house of his prisoners. Verse 18. All the kings of the nations, all of them sleep now in glory. Everyone in his own house. People will be free. And the Bible says, it's saying, the time will come where people will look at you, coronavirus, and your source, where you came from. Whether it was man-made, created from somewhere, I bet you, I tell you now, mark my ways. We will come to a time of knowing what really happened, where this thing came from. Don't worry about it now. Don't, don't follow stories of people and speculations and just people sometimes are just, you know, in the absence of information, come up with their own unfounded information. Let us be patient. God's judgment will come on the devil and it has already come. And the evil one will be exposed for who he is. So you and I must just be patient, declare the word of God and the faithfulness of our God. He is good and the Bible says his mercies endure us forever. God is good. His mercies endure us forever. God has not stopped being good because of what is happening now. God is there and God's judgment is at work. Let the enemy shout, let the enemy make the earth tremble and turn the earth and the cities into wilderness. But God's time is the best time and God's time is yet to come. 
God will reveal himself. The Bible says he's our light and our salvation. He is the strength of our life. Of whom shall we be afraid? We should not be afraid. God is our light and he is our salvation. When you see these things happening, Jesus said, remember, look up because your redemption is close, is near. So be excited and rejoice. Our Father is working out a greater blessing for us. The enemy's works even in your life. Whatever the enemy has been doing behind your back, you don't know why things are going wrong like this. You don't know why you work on something and right at the end it looks like it's not going anywhere. Why you have promises that never get fulfilled. Why you get final you know, disappointments at all times. It's very difficult sometimes to go through those moments where you don't understand why is it it looks like my life is moving on. It's not moving on. You know, the enemy behind all that work will soon be exposed. And get, God will get you to your final victory and destiny. All you must do is say, God, you are my light and my salvation. Expose everything. You know, the Bible says, you know, nothing is hidden before God. Everything is clear before God. So every evil work hidden against you that the enemy has been working out will be exposed. Sometimes you find that you're just having challenges with people, maybe in your relationships, you're just fighting and fighting over small things and you don't realize there is a third party, the enemy is hiding somewhere and causing you to just have misunderstanding, causing people to just have misunderstanding with you at work. All of a sudden you're being accused of this, accused of that, that never happens and you're wondering what is really happening with me? What wrong have I done? Nothing wrong have you done don't judge yourself don't condemn yourself and don't allow the devil to come again and condemn you you have victory in the name of jesus and you're washed by the blood of jesus and god will prove you right you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus and the bible says we will reign in life through the one man jesus christ god loves you so be happy rejoice in the lord always i say rejoice god bless you until next time have a good time. In Jesus' name, the best is yet to come. In Jesus' name, amen.